Welcome to this week's episode of FTK Feature Focus. I'm Justin Tolman here at Xtero, and 7.5.2 is out. So if you're looking for a reason to upgrade, here's another video. One of the things that we've done in this version is optimize the way that we index your case. And again, index search is that quick searching where we scan your evidence and enter all the words and characters into a database that allows your searches to be instant so you don't have to repeat this. Obviously, this takes some time during processing, and so we focused on optimizing that to reduce the amount of time that it takes to do that. So how did we optimize it? Well, after talking with users of FTK and looking at the types of data that we were indexing, we realized that people don't really search a lot of the stuff that we were indexing and they didn't need it. The second thing is, is we've added more features to other areas of FTK that kind of took out the need to search those items. One example would be graphic file. We would index graphic files because you have all that EXIF data and you might want to say exif.image.make contains Apple because you want to return all the photos that were taken by an Apple iPhone or tablet or something like that. Well, that information has been moved into a column, so you don't need to search it. You can just filter it. It's just shown to you right off the bat. However, that having been said, you still have complete control over the files that you index. And so I'm going to show you that here. So we go to case and we go to new. The optimizations are enabled by default. You're going to get the speed benefits and everything. This is if you want to add files that we are telling the system not to index. So we'll click on customize and then we'll click on index refinement. And you can see here that we are refining our index. So no executables, for example, are going to be indexed. And then you can see some of these that are subcategories that are not going to be indexed as well, for example, MS cabinet or whatever. So we've removed a bunch of stuff out of what we index to make the process quicker based on user feedback. That having been said, user feedback takes the most good for the most people, and you may not fit into that group. So for example, if you wanted to index your raster graphics, you can just come in and deselect that and now raster graphics, which includes JPEGs and most of the files that you're going to deal with will be indexed and you can search those how you always have been. So complete customization. And again, maybe we're still indexing more than you would like. Maybe you don't want any folders indexed. You just want, don't want that searched. Go ahead and exclude it from your index. You'll see on this screen that you have other types of refinement that you can do, of course, as well by selecting this for folders exclude all but, and you can actually set date ranges in this window, allowing you to get very granular in how you index your case. Now, how much time is this actually saving? Well, it's about three to four times faster at minimum. Myself and Dan Sumter, we processed the same case. Now, granted, we were on different systems, and that's why I say I'm, I'm lowballing here the speed savings. I haven't had the time yet to do a one-to-one -one comparison on my system, but his processing of the image file on 7.5.1 took about 12 hours, and my processing on 7.5.2, both of us including index search, etc took only four hours. So that's a massive time saving. And that is the difference between starting the case in the morning, and being able to work it, possibly finish it, depending on what you're doing that same day or having to wait a day. So we've made big improvements in the index refinement to make it more efficient and more in line with what our users want. So take advantage of those speed benefits by updating to 7.5.2. And remember, other speed benefits that we've done in this one was covered in the feature focus two weeks ago. And we talked about video thumbnails. Check that one out as well. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that because I post these types of videos every week so you can get insight into our new features. There's really no reason to say I didn't know that you released a new version because I'm always talking about the new stuff and about the features. So make sure to subscribe so you're always up to date on the latest stuff within FTK. 
If you want me to cover a certain topic, you can always email me at justin.tolman at xtero.com or you can leave a comment on the video. Also be sure to check out our podcast. We cover features, forensics. We talk with industry people, people here at Xtero, all sorts of good stuff. And if you want to appear on the podcast, if you feel like you have something to add to the community, which I bet you do, you can go ahead and email us at FTK over the air at xtero.com to get in on that action as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.